Hi, Bruce here. I want to talk to you about vitamin D. This is a, a Health Scout news article about the British Medical Journal article where they studied 520,000 people in 10 countries for six years in the late 90s. They've analyzed the data and published it recently that showed that if you have higher vitamin D levels in your blood, you're much less likely to get colon cancer. We've seen the same thing in the United States and have seen an increased risk of colon cancer and breast cancer in women of color and it's thought to have to do with vitamin D because they whoop, I don't know where that came from. It's, it's thought that they have a harder time uh, creating vitamin D because of the melanin in their skin which is protective against UV light and so it takes more UV light and since the, those women just like all of us are inside more now uh, they, they get less sun in the sun and they don't get that extra 30 percent of time in the sun and as a result they have even lower vitamin D levels. Now let's go to, over here to this site which is the uh, dietary supplement fact sheet for vitamin D from the Office of Dietary Supplements, you know, U.S. Um, NIH.gov. Basically, vitamin D is necessary. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. You need it for calcium. You need it for health and very in various ways. You measure 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels, which is abbreviated 25 OHD, and you want to be above. 37.5 nanomoles per liter. Uh, we uh, see in our lab that it's uh, 32 to 100 is normal. Most people are in this range up here, you know, below 25. I'd say almost everybody I measure is below 25. I've seen one person that I've measured in the last month or has been measured in our practice in the last month, and we do every physical gets one if they've never had one before, and we see all of them come back low. People do not get any sunshine. They're wearing sunscreens, etc. You need, it says here, 200 to 600 IUs, but the University of North Carolina now says that postmenopausal women need about two to 3,000 IUs a day in order to prevent osteoporosis. I would say that it's a safe bet that this age group that gets more sunshine probably needs somewhere between 200 and 400 and that anybody who's pregnant, lactating, working indoors probably needs a thousand a day um, if, they, if they spend a lot of their time indoors and don't have a lot of outdoor activities. Otherwise, uh, they may need two thousand a day, especially if they're in this age range, you know, 50 to 70 and above. Um, so you need, to, you need to consider that. And I wanted to look at sources of vitamin D, okay? food sources. This is very few foods in nature contain vitamin D. But let's take a look at cod liver oil, which also contains a lot of vitamin A, so I don't recommend using this. But it, it has 1,360 1, international units, which is how we measure it, because it's actually micrograms that we're taking per tablespoon. That's a, that's a bunch. Sockeye salmon, three ounces, has around 800 and uh, if you want to get some irradiated mushrooms, uh, you're talking about 400. Mackerels, 3 ounces, 388. Uh, tuna fish has about 154 international units per 3 ounces. Uh, Non-fat milk, a cup, has 115. So, you know, to get 1,000, you're going to have to drink 10 cups of milk. You know, that's a, that's a bit much. That's a lot of calories. And it really falls off rapidly down in, in, the, in these foods. So basically you're going to need to supplement if you're not eating a, a lot of fish. And I mean a lot of fish. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I'm just looking through this. Groups at risk of vitamin D inadequacy, uh, breastfeeding infants, older adults, people with limited sun exposure, particularly if you live in the northern hemisphere, in northern latitudes, uh, in the winter time, you know, we go off of daylight savings time, you need to start your vitamin D. People with dark skin have a bigger problem. People with fat malabsorption have a problem. People who are obese have undergone gastric bypass surgery. They have problems. Uh, and just older people. You know, we have, the older we get, the more trouble we have absorbing it. So just think vitamin D. Uh, leave me a comment on what you think about this on YouTube. Thanks. I appreciate it.